Hello guys and welcome back to another video on F1 2021 uh, This time we'll be playing some Breaking Point uh, Last time we did the Chinese Grand Prix Where Casper hit us and we managed to rustle it back up to 10th place and get a point for the team Which is good, not good about Casper But hey what can you do But right now we're going on to the next chapter so let's go it's a great day for racing here at Le Castellet, and the drivers are making their final preparations on the grid. Let's hope for a thrilling contest then, here at the French Grand Prix. Mastering a lap of Paul Ricard means getting to know 15 corners, 6 left and 9 right, for an overall lap distance of 3.6 miles. The two halves of the long Mistral Strait are separated by a heavy braking zone into a potential overtaking hotspot at the Chicane Nor. And watch out for the drivers running onto the distinctive coloured stripes, which are low in grip and highly abrasive. Here we are then at the circuit Paul Ricard in France, the 10th race of the 2020 Formula One season. And the standings are starting to take some kind of shape, Ant. Yeah, exactly. You've got your big three jostling for position at the top, so no surprises there. A little less predictable in the midfield, though you could make an argument for Williams underperforming somewhat. The two Williams drivers denying each other points, perhaps. But well, it's all to race for, and a lot of the season is left ahead of us. So let's see how it all pans out. With the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, edging out Max Verstappen, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Bottas, Leclerc, Daniel Kvyat and Ricardo, Norris, Vettel, Sainz and Pierre Gasly, Ocon, Ackerman, Devon Butler and Albon, Stroll, Raikkonen, Kevin Magnussen and Aidan Jackson. Giovinazzi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Okay, we've not quite had the start of the season we'd hoped for, but we've got a chance to make up some ground today. Try to keep your nose clean and show us what you've got. Good luck, Aiden. Thanks, Jeff. They say that we haven't had the start of the season. I know we've crashed into our teammate and all, but... We've got points! That's a miracle in and of itself at Williams, so it's amazing. In my last video, I did say how I didn't really like Fren the France, oh my god, the French Grand Prix on, or the Fre French track on the last game, up on 2020. So we'll see how it is on this game. Not sure if I like it or not, but it looks like we'll be starting out from the beginning. Are we going to do a full race? I don't know. Let's see, 13 la, yeah, we'll do that. I mean,. Can I edit it? Can I make it? No, we'll just leave it like that. Alright, we'll do it like that. Uh, that's the, what they give us in fuel. Drop it down a bit. Actually, it's a Williams. Uh, drop it down to that. 15 laps. Two extra laps. Okay, guys, here we go! Beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. Okay. Will do. Whoa! McLaren and Renault. Come on, let's beat. So we've got to beat both McLaren and Renault drivers. So Ocon, Ricardo, Norris, and Science is who you've got to beat. In a 13 lap race, we're doing the whole thing. That'd be nice. Come on, Stroll, move! Sorry, Stroll. Oh, no, we have a teammate. That'll be bad. Oh, mm, bit corner cut. Hey, hey, oh. Not the end of the world. Yeah, I got no warning. The FIA left me, let me off. One nice people. Got a teammate in front of us already. I mean, I did call it a tiny bit. But it's fine. I don't think anyone will mind. Oh, no. Stroll, go away. Science and knock on. I think everyone is already in the to get. They just really didn't challenge me into that corner. They just both backed out. I have it on the hardest difficulty possible in um, breaking point. So that was a bit weird. Hey, -oh. Yeah, at the start, Crofty, I think it was Crofty, said that Williams are not scoring many points because they'd wish. Mate, scoring two points is a miracle in and of itself. Like, if we scored two points right in real life, I'd be a, like happy as anything. Happy as Larry, I'd be. 
I have them right in front of us. So, uh, oh, uh, okay, cool. Both of the Clarence and both are in the front of us. I mean, we did qualify 18. Well, I didn't. Jackson did. So, Jackson's is all your fault. In real life, the French Grand Prix was actually really, really good. Um, so, hopefully, this one's actually fun and the track's not too bad. So, yeah, because in the last game, I really didn't enjoy it. Uh, poor card. It just. It wasn't for me. Oh! Ackerman! That was bad for you, mate. Bye, Ackerman! Nice knowing you, mate. Come on. We're on the second lap and we're already in 13th from 18th. That is amazing going there. It's like amazing. If only could, this could happen in real life, I'd be so happy. Come on, it's a massive train. Just if if it's McLaren or Renault make any type of real gap, then we're kind of screwed. So I don't think. Actually, I don't know. I'm guessing Williams is bad. Although they can't because every car must be the same. Otherwise, it wouldn't be this high. I don't know, I'm guessing every car is, like, if you pick, like, Racing Point or Alpha Tower, they'd all be, like, the same rough level, and, they, like, Williams aren't worse than the others. I'm guessing that's what it is, because otherwise it wouldn't really work, so I'm guessing that's how... Oh, God, how it would work. Yeah. Don't know, though. Might not. Might have to do some tests with that. Come on, let's get Gasly now. Science is intense. He's our first main target. Hit window. Oh, I don't know if that's a good idea. Sorry, Gasly. Did I hit you? I don't think. Oh, um. Okay, I did corner cut a tiny bit there, but hey, we'll be fine. I see nothing wrong. <laughs> I told you guys I'm not the best at the F1 games, but I do enjoy them, so. Yeah. We are really catching these. Who's holding them all up? It looks like. Who would it be? Kvyat, because it's the other Alpha Tower, it looks like. Damn. Oh, well, no, he's pulled a gap. It's the McLaren of Norris. Ah. Thought he'd be sailing away, mate. We're doing well. We're doing very well. For our first extreme... Well, no, we have done long stints, but... Yeah, I think we're doing very well. And Williams up in 12th and 14th. I mean, Ackerman's really done nothing. We've just done everything. But still, it's going pretty well, I think. Where do we go? Ooh. I can't really tell that, but like, it doesn't feel too bad, which is good. Rather than like Albert in a Red Bull in a Williams. Uh, please tell me what's going wrong here. <laughs> oh my god, that call I hate that corner, man. I keep corner cutting and I'm really nice sorry. Alright, Science in front of us. He's in one of the McLarens. Let's take him. So Pick this lap. Alright, we'll do. Alright, I'm going to right, I'm gonna get Science this lap and then pit. Or maybe science and Ocon with the way I'm going. Come on, Jackson! Oh, bye, science. There's science dealt with. We are really storming through the field here. Like, really storming through the field. We are using a lot of ERS, but we are storming through the field. Alright, Ocon, I'm going on the inside. Outside, inside, inside of you. No, no, I'm not. Get faked, Doc on. Even though I thought I was doing the inside. Did I hit you, Doc on? Maybe. I don't think I did, though. Yeah. Even I thought I was going on the other side of you, Doc on. So, how do you feel about that? Uh -huh. You didn't know what I was doing because I didn't know what I was doing either. See, if I don't know what I'm doing, they can't know what I'm doing either. That worked on so much. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Okay. Yeah. Went a bit wide there. We're boxing this lap. We are really storming through the field. Like, thanks for holding everyone up, Kvyat. I do appreciate you, mate. You are a nice guy. Be careful. We think you're going to start losing some tire grip around now. Well, Jeff, you said I have to come in, didn't you? Oh God, I forgot what the pit entry was there. What was it? Oh sh. We're gonna, we're gonna rewind. So I <laughs> don't get a penalty because I didn't actually know where the line was. There we go. Is anyone- No one else paying! What? 
Oh, don't tell me I'm the only person pitting for new for another set of tyres. Oh, game! Please don't tell me that. Um, no, they surely they have to pit. Yeah. I think I'll just put on the next lap. We were really storming through the field, though. Oh, someone else is pitting. A house. Come on, lads. 2.8. Not too bad. We'll take it. We will take it. Come on, Jackson. We are in 19th now. Pit strategy complete. 19th. Second last. Brilliant. Only in front of Magnuson. Come on, here we go. Here's where we overtake people in the pits. Where are we going to come out? In front of Vettel? Behind Vettel? By knock on? I think in front of Vettel! Let's go, lads! Behind Kvyat. But hopefully. His tyres are still cold. Mine are hot. He's on hards! Damn, Kvyat, you're an idiot. You are an idiot. The torpedo. Come on, Kvyat, move! Come Kvyat, move! I'm on fresh rubber. Ocon can't. No, Ocon has a bit. Move, give you that. Here we go. I'm not going to use battery actually because he doesn't have DRS. So. There's no point wasting ERS to overtake you, give you that. I think I hit you there, give you that. I'm oh so sorry about that. But hey, -oh. we didn't get a puncture. You can. You might have damage. Hey -oh. Sorry, give you that. Do apologise. We're in the 11th and there's still people that haven't played in front of us. Jeez. We are high flying Williams. Lap 7. Oh god. Not the best corner. So, what can I say about this? Paul Ricard. I mean, it's definitely better than last game. I really did not enjoy going around it on the last game. I will have to test it on my team though. To see if it's any good on those cars. Because these are probably just FOM chassis. So, yeah. But right now I'm I'm enjoying it. I wouldn't class this as in the bad section. I class it as in the okay section. It's tolerable. Oh, oh here comes the clear. It's going to be a bit faster to do a second. We're in fifth. Oh my goodness gracious me. About to be in fourth. About to be sixth. No, I don't think we are. Podium. I think it's not asking a bit much. <laughs> no, I think Bottas is 5.3 seconds up the road. I don't think we're catching. I now do think also Leclerc will pull away. But we're doing so well. Man. Do I think I can dive on? Sorry, Leclerc. Blending it on you, mate. Leave you some room. Lovely, we got him. That gives him a bit of a buffer to Norris, which is nice. It's what you want to see. Do I think we can catch Bottas? No. <laughs> but it'd be nice, we get a podium. Oh, well, mm, yeah, no, not, not driving like this, Craig. You won't get Bottas. I think the main goal is to hold off Leclerc and get a fourth place finish, which would be absolutely amazing, I think, in a Williams. This would be amazing for Jackson. Oh god! Oh, oh god. No. How is that? Mm. I don't know. We're doing, doing so well on our teammates. I don't know what position our teammates are in. I don't think he's in the top 10 though. Here we are. Final corner. ERS. Let's go. Fourth place. Let's go. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. We've witnessed some great battles around Paul Ricard today, and they've taken a fantastic win. Business as usual for the big three, but a bit of a reshuffle in the midfield here in France. That's certainly much better from Williams. Frankly, they should be in the mix more often. On a good day, they're as good as anyone in that midfield pack. And they've certainly proved it today. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today.
great work out there today. Let's have your thoughts. So, Aidan, it's a great result for you here today. The team must be delighted with a solid points finish. How are you feeling? Oh god, I didn't realize we'd have to pick an answer. Uh, good, but it's kind of the result we're expecting. Oh god, no. It's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. I think that's a good answer. Yeah, I'm good. It's a solid result, but there's always room for improvement. I'm sure we'll be looking at all the data from today and working out how we can build on it for the rest of the season. Well, it's such a great result, especially since it's your first season in Formula One. Would you say you found your feet now since the jump to F1? Uh, definitely in my mind there was never an issue. Maybe not. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. That's a good answer. The results today shows I can handle an F1 car just as well as no matter what people say. I'm going to go with change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling I in. I think there's always going to be hurdles. And look, you never know what's around the corner. Change is always difficult, but I think I'm settling in. The team seems happy at least. So there's no current tensions within the team. We've all seen that you and Casper have locked horns so far this season. Is that something that's now behind you? Uh, I mean, we didn't do anything this race, so <laughs> no comment as an answer. If this little problem between us is not from me. I think there's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. I think that's not too bad of an answer. We'll go with that. There's always going to be a settling in period. It doesn't matter who you're paired up with. You've got to have a strong character to do what we do. We may have our differences, but I'm sure we'll get there. Appreciate your time. Good race there. Very good race. I think we did well. Well, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the French Grand Prix with Aiden Jackson coming forth. Uh, this, this is it from this episode. Uh, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking it. But that's enough from me. Goodbye.